Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 26 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. I'm flying around looking for gas tears in the nether. So far I've collected eight, and I think I killed about three or four ghasts, so that's not terrible. Hey, there's one. Woot! Come here, you. Yoink! Um, I was looking at gas tiers to find out how you can make them, and bees or killing ghasts are pretty much your only option. Uh, luckily I've got this nifty glider that helps me fly around the nether, and a staff of traveling to help me get around faster, and I can just kind of teleport my way towards the ghast once I see one and kill him pretty easily. Not too shabby. Uh, so that's what I'm working on right now, because I decided there's something I'd like to get. Something cool. Something fun. Something that'll help me out, um, with mining. Yeah, it's time to upgrade my pick, I think. Um, and in looking at what I need in order to upgrade my pick, I determined that I needed gas tears. So that's a thing. Uh, so I went and hunted down some. Cool, I think that's enough exploring for one day. Yoink. Starting teleportation. Dun, 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 dun. I love, love, love being back home in a heartbeat. Pretty much the best part of modded Minecraft for me is the ability to teleport. That is 100% a fact. Yeah, I didn't get a whole lot while I was in there. I wasn't there for mining or anything. I was there for gas tiers, so I didn't stop to mine or anything. You should be reheated by now, I hope. Yay, you are. That's a good thing. Cook up some potatoes for me, because I haven't eaten in days. Uh, so I'd like to uh, start off the episode pointing out the fact that I am desperately low on gold. Um, I don't really have an automated mining system yet, but what I'd like to work on today, and maybe including the next episode, we'll see how long it takes, is um, I'd like to work on first automating ore processing and sorting. So it's it's probably the longest it's ever taken me to get to a sorting system, but I've actually been functioning quite well without much of a sorting system. I kind of just, you know, uh, show up and, and drop any ores that I get right in here, and then I, you know, smelt them in here, and we wind up pretty good. Um, I have a little bit of gold. Probably came from some of the copper, because I think you get gold dust rarely from copper and stuff. So, uh, or, or maybe the tin, I don't know. It came from somewhere. But, long story short, it's been a while since I've had automated sorting. Um, in this pack, not at all. And it usually doesn't take me that long, so it's actually taken me a lot longer than it usually would uh, to get there. Do want to point out, by the way, uh, I had hardened stone on me because between episodes I made three more oil generators. Woot! So we've got nine oil generators, each of which powered by empowered oil. If you missed last episode, you totally missed out because it was a pretty cool episode. Uh, in my opinion, at least. So let's get ourselves a drill from Actually Editions. The drill is super cool because you can upgrade it to the point where it will be able to mine, if you get a drill mining augment too, in a five by five area. How cool is that? Um, so if you actually think about it, that's really powerful. Like a three by three mines nine blocks, a five by five mines 25 blocks. So that's almost three times as much as a three by three. So that will triple your mining expeditions efforts if you get a five by five mining augment. So um, I wanna get that and I totally wanna get fortune three and I'll even get probably a drill speed augment to kind of speed things up. So that's what I'm looking to do. And uh, in looking at this, right, um, so fortune, not too bad. It does require an empowered diamond team block though. Um, and to get Fortune 3, uh, not too bad. Ender casing, some more empowered diamond team. So we're actually going to need like a lot of stuff to get Fortune 3 on it. But then like the mining augment area thing is really where it's at. Um, and that requires some empowered Enyori crystals, which haha, require gas tears. And snow. Uh, snow. Ooh, I didn't, I didn't notice that. And that might be a little bit tricky. Um, how would one get snow automatically? So there's the compressor. Uh, you can compress water into snow or snowballs. We do have a compressor, so that's cool. Uh, and a macerator can macerate ice into snowballs. An extractor, centrifuge, world gen, mob drops. So if we've got a snowman, like we could totally easily get snow, right? Um, macerating ice. Is there a neat way to get ice? Compressor, snowball. Okay, nice. Uh, so I guess if I got a bucket of water, I could compressor it into a block of snow. So that's not terrible. And it looked like bottle of water worked too, which would probably be the smart route to go. Um, so we might have, let's, let's test that out real quick. Let's get a few pieces of glass. Let's get ourselves some bottles. Cause water bottles stack where water buckets don't, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, they don't, they don't stack up all, do they? Dire derp. 
Uh, we can turn off our glider for the time being. And luckily, I thought you said compressor. I thought you said compressor, 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 compressor. Compressor? This is a compressor. It said water bottle, didn't it? Well, that was one of the water, water bucket, universal fluid cell water bottle. Hello. I'm doing the thing. You should be running. And you're not. Um, water cell. Water cell. Heavy water, distilled water, hot spring water, water, water. I guess they're universal cells. So I could probably try and get one of those. I think I can either right click. One of these guys should have some universal fluid cells. And I'm, I'm curious if this will work. Nope. This should? Yay. No, you don't want to go in there either? Now that's weird. It won't even accept this. And it will accept that, but it doesn't do anything? Unless it takes a really long time. Oh well, luckily there's, you know, some snow right near my base. So that helps. Sweet. Uh, so for now, I'll put snow in this thing, but eventually we might need to get it dealt with. So let's start empowering the blocks we're going to need and start mathing out how many blocks we need to actually empower. So if I want a drill that has um, Fortune 1, so that, we'll ignore this because that's easy, but we need one empowered diamantine crystal. Um, these are easy, that's easy, that's nothing, right? So that's, we're going to need a second empowered diamantine crystal. Um, and this... These aren't empowered diamantines. Okay, cool. Um, so we want two empowered diamantine blocks. Um, I, I think that'll do. So let's start off. And this is going to be pretty power hungry, but we should be able to manage. So Benetwat, fertilizer, lithium dust, ash. Okay. Um, so ash, I think, comes from peat. And we might have some laying around. We do have a diamantine crystal, but we don't have an empowered version laying around. Bennett, this stuff we have, right? Um, and ash from peat. It's got to be around here somewhere. I know I had some. How about I gather the ingredients off camera? We'll be right back. All right, one more tiny pile of lithium dust. Overclockers, thank you so much for existing. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that should be cool. Uh, we'll come over here and drop these dudes. Nice. Uh, let's set up real quick some automation around this point. So uh, you were going to add to the whitelist lithium dust. You can have that. This one can do peat. And this one can do fertilizer. Cool. And that should be all we need to do this, 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 and this. Correct? Oh, right. It needs to be Ash, not Pete. Hold on. Hold your horses. And while you're here, I might as well cook that one up, too. Let's correct that filter. Ash goes there. And of course, remember, this costs 20 million RF to make. And I need tool. So that's going to hurt a little bit. Shouldn't be too big a deal, though. Um, in the meantime, let's get some other stuff ready. So that's probably enough of this for now. Uh, we'll put this away. Let you guys settle down a little bit. Uh, tiny piles of the dust. You can hang out here. Let's work on the drill uh, itself while we're waiting for that to cook up. So, Inuri crystal blocks. That's not a big deal. Drill core. Uh, so we're really only going to need until one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks of, and that's about a stack. Like a stack is almost exactly seven blocks. So that'll be that. Um, and then, unless I got a drill core from somewhere while I was out adventuring, I didn't happen to, did I? I don't remember getting one. I think I would have, unless I put it in here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything drill related. 
Those are probably the two main chests that I would have put any loot that I found while I was out exploring. All right, so uh, with that in mind, let's get our drill core made. So the drill core now requires Restonia crystal and some basic coils, which each require. So let's get about, I have so much redstone, I'm just gonna make a stack of this stuff so I don't have to keep running over here every time I need some. Seems like a good plan to me. So for the drill core, four of you. Drill, 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 drill. And you already crystal blocks. All oh, right, I didn't, I didn't do the thing yet. Cool. So that should be that. Um, now you're gonna need some advanced coils, which require a little bit of gold. It's two gold per advanced coil. Is the math that I've done? Because uh, if we take a look at the extractor. Uh, or the uh, metal former that is. You get four uh, gold cables per gold ingot, and you need eight of them to make the advanced guys. So basically, two to two gold equals one advanced dude. See, watch this. So with the drill, so two of you, and two of you. Perfect. Now we just need some diamantine crystals. So what I'm gonna do is convert that into a crystal, individual crystal form. And now we have a drill, nice. And it's charging up, beautiful. And we can get some upgrades in there. Total of five available to us. Let's focus first on, uh, well, I'm still waiting for that to cook, I presume. Yeah, he's still cooking, he might be a while. Uh, so let's get the dry, this one. So I need Inori, and for a five by five, I need empowered Inori. So let's get two Inori crystal blocks. And we'll get the empowered version in a moment, but for now we can at least get the three by three going. Cool. Gonna need at least a couple more of you. Cool, so now this guy should have the ability to mine in a three by three pattern. And with this, as soon as I get, um, I'm gonna upgrade this, so let's get two more gold. Beautiful. This should allow me now to, I need more diamond. Okay, we can do that. Cool, so now I need to do is get this guy ready. So let's prepare stone dust, bone block, gas tier snow. Should not be a problem. So, snow. Bone block, I wanna say is nine bones. Or is it nine bone powder? It's nine bone powder. Okay, cool. Well, that's even better. Um, why are these two in here? So that's even cheaper, really. Okay, so you, the snow, uh, we'll need the gas tier, one of the ones that we just picked up while we were out and about. And then what was the last piece of that puzzle? Stone dust, easy. We should have literally tons, 625 stone dust, as a matter of fact. Hey, cool, you finished, nice. Um, do I wanna teach you in your crafting? So once I do this, I'll have to upgrade this to an advanced item filter uh, if I'm ready to, to make any more automation around this guy. So keeping that in mind, snow, bone block, and stone dust. All right, did I do all those correctly? Stone dust, snow, bone block, gas tier. Right? Bone block. S 
small stone. Oh, that's not stone dust. I thought they were the same thing. Could have sworn they were the same thing. Is this not stone dust? Weren't they the same thing? Back in a sec. So that's funny. They used to be the same thing. I think it got changed in, in, in an updated version of the pack. So I think that was this one, right? So we'll put stone dust in there. They are actually different items now. They used to be the same item. Now if we do that, you should... Nice, beautiful, craft. Good, good, good. Cool. So you're good. So now we can get... That and get ourselves... At least fortune one for now. That's cool. Uh, and then this shouldn't take too long. How much is this? Uh, this requires 16 million RF to make. Whoa, ho, ho. pricey, pricey. Look at us. We just made an empowered diamond team crystal block, which costs 20 million RF to make. And we didn't even break a sweat. Dude, I've got like a ton of power left in here. That's amazing. That is truly insane to me. Did you guys really do such a good job? You rock. Man, this thing's cool. All right, buds. Uh, so here's what I got next. Uh, you should be done. What I'm going to do is instead of doing a whole block this time, I'm going to do um, just the four diamonds because I want to try and conserve many resources. And lithium dust. Nice. I have to combine this last lithium dust. Lithium dust is actually not cheap, as a matter of fact. So that should automate and fully craft all the things. Cool. Um, so you should be able to be empowered now. So what do we got going on here? Uh, so we've got drill mining augment three. We should be able to get the five now. Nice. Uh, which means that we can mine in a five by five pattern. And then all we have left is we need an ender casing for empowered restonia crystals, which I might have a few. I do. And... Uh, Four glowstone blocks, and for that we're going to need a block of quartz. That shouldn't be a problem. The four empowered diamonds that we're cooking, and some glowstone. So that's the reason we're making the four empowered diamonds here. Cool. Um, so you, you, and four ender pearls, and we should be good to go. Nice. Beautiful. Back in a sec. So seriously, the amount of RF I just spent and my capacitor is really not even that low is super exciting to me. I mean, we really are good on RF production right now. Like, not like amazingly good, but really good. Let's put it that way. So my plan is thus. Um, I want to go mining and get a bunch of resources, come back, and uh, then I want to start building a sorting system. Uh, so you should be... Good and good. Look at that. Cool. Um, and I might want to throw mining speed in there. Four sugar, a Restonia crystal, and four Anuris. I could probably do that. And this will just make it mine faster. That's all the uh, speed augment does. Beautiful. So I'm probably going to put you here. Let's put like that. Because I'm probably going to, when I'm done, eventually wind up taking these out when I'm not mining. Just as an FYI. So let's put all this stuff away. Um, I'm going to clean up my inventory. I'm going to go mining and then we'll come back. Uh, I do want you guys to see how great mining is though uh, with a, with the five by five. So maybe we'll just show that real fast. Shh, don't tell anyone. Dyer's not mining on camera, I promise. And I think at this point I no longer need to carry around my tool station because I'm probably not going to use my pick anymore, to be honest. Um, the uh, excavator, I probably shouldn't need to bring mining as well. What I could do is recharge my battery, because this thing dumped its power into the drill, among other things. Neat. All right, let's go a mining. All right, let's see if this thing is as good as I remember it is. Hey, there you go. You know, I think it like has like a little safety thing to prevent it. Um, there we go. Beautiful. That's what's up. You know what I forgot to do is bring my bags. 
because I am a giant derp. The bags that like automate and everything. <laughs> yeah, this is mining in style, guys. I will take it any day of the week. Nice. I could throw another efficiency in there at the expense of uh, maybe looting, I guess. Uh, the best part about this, by the way, my favorite, absolute most favorite part of this mining thing is that it clears out the same things that shovels can, so like gravel and dirt, just as well as it does stone. And I think if you hold shift, it doesn't do the 5x5 five five thing. Nice. But I always forget to hold shift when I'm like mining around my base, which is why I take the augments out when uh, I need to. Yeah, this is the greatest thing ever. I'll be back after a little bit of mining. One thing I'll say, you burn through a double battery pretty quick when you're... Yeah, that thing was almost empty really fast. Boy, oh boy, that battery drains really fast. We're going to have to get, like, a much better battery. Uh, I, could, I, I don't mind that long, and I'm all of a sudden out of battery power. So, yeah, today I learned. Good times. Uh, let's go ahead and put away you and the magnet for now, uh, and I will quickly sort some of this stuff. Um... I'm thinking it's about time that we looked into getting uh, the thing that's going to help us with sorting. So uh, let's see what's in here. I'm going to clean out anything. You can see I ran into a zombie while I was down there. Let's clean out. Well, actually, let's leave most of this in here. Yeah, that's fine. Because we're going to be building a sorting system. So having that stuff available to us is probably not the worst thing in the world. So you guys can go away. And that looks cool, right? Nice. All right, so for sorting system, uh, I think my best bet uh, would be item conduits. And filter, uh, so we've got, oh, that's neat. That's a new one. Existing item filter, that's totally what we're going to want to use. Um, so I basically want to item conduit into these inventories. Um, and I'll probably wind up having underneath here um, a drawer controller. Live. See what I mean? See what I mean about doing the thing with the drill and why I always forget that I've got these guys in here still? <laughs> to do. Not do that anymore. Um, so you can go back. Nice. You're actually pretty quick at picking that stuff up. Uh, my, my diamonds probably went into here. Yeah. Cool. All right. So uh, I'll probably have a door controller right here. Um, so I remember those drawer controllers being a little expensive. They shouldn't be too bad now, though. So I just need a basic circuit board, which is, uh, oh, it does require some analyzed circuits. So I need to, um, restoration or reassembly. So restoration chamber is if it's dirty. Reassembly chamber is if it's damaged. Cool. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to get one of those. I have a bunch of circuits, as you guys can see, because I've been basically processing cobble here. Every time I think about it, I grab a stack of cobble, I drop it in here, um, and this has just been something I'm kind of passively doing. I'll probably start looking at speed upgrades from calculator, by the way. Um, from calculator. Wow, there's a lot of things with the word speed on them, huh? So that's not a right. Uh, that one, speed upgrade mechanism, speed upgrade under I.O. Speed upgrade, that looks like a calculator. Yeah, if crafted an atomic calculator, and rich gold dust goes in the third spot. Cool. So you get four speed upgrades if you do a red circuit and an atomic binder, which is already more. Okay, so we don't really have the ability to get that far yet, but soonish, I hope. Um, so if we wanted to, we could make a drawer controller, which I think would be a good idea. So let's get that as a priority. Um, so we're going to need, so a drawer controller needs to use this recipe. Redstone ingots and industrial di or diamonds are not a problem. These three circuits, though, uh, we want to get our reassembly chamber, which is four weakened diamonds, an extraction chamber, and four enriched gold. Extraction chambers are weakened diamonds again with reinforced stone and a power cube. All right, let me get this made off camera. Now, remember I made weakened diamond at some point in the past. I don't remember what I did, but I made too many. Um, so algorithm separator gets four from a single diamond. That's pretty cool. Um, neat. All right, good to know. So you should be good now. I wonder how slow this machine is, by the way. I have no idea. And enriched gold dust. 
That is uh, gold and redstone, right? Yeah. Do we have any extra laying around? Probably not. So let's get out our calculator. Because I usually smelted it right away. Uh, so regular calculator, I think, was needed for that. Cool. And then we're going to need... Oh, I already have four of them. How much do you get for this? I guess I got eight. Okay, cool. Neat. Okay, great, 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 great. So now I've got this dude, uh, who is going to need power, by the way. Uh, algorithm separator. I could probably, like, shift all this over is what I think I should do. So let's see. You're empty. Drills don't break you that much faster? That's a bummer. You were powered with that? Oh, my goodness. So another HV of you, another HV of you. I'm going to pop this dude. I might want to move him. So we'll do the reassembly chamber here and the algorithm separator here. Good to go. Cool. Everybody is happy. Reassembly chamber. Nice. All right. So then, if I want to get, um, let's do drawer controller again. I need this looking circuit. So a light blue one, a blue squarish one, and a blue. I don't even know how to describe these with words. Um, I'm guessing this one and this one and this one. Does that look about cool? How long do you take? The answer is a really long time. So I think the only use of any of these is to get processed. So here's what I think I'm going to do. Um, let's get this automated real fast. And that should be ridiculously easy. So what I think I'm going to do is have you be extract on green. You're going to instead uh, insert on green, extract on brown, always active. And you're going to be um, extract on green, always active, insert on brown. So what that should do is as soon as that comes out of there, he should wind up, um, oh, you can't insert an extract from the same sides, can you? That's a bummer. So I might have to shift that around a little bit. Oop. Let's just see if you're... So I'm going to take you out of there. Let's let you analyze. I'm going to put you back in. What I'm assuming is about to happen is it's going to say nope. But that's a circuit. Nice. And this is used. Cool. So we did it. We cleaned up a circuit. Tidied it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to assume then that I need to run some stuff back here. Right, so you're gonna have to insert through the back there a little bit, which is stinky that that's a thing that needs to happen, but we'll live. Um, Cause I can't insert an extract on the same side. And I assume I can't have you auto output to the right or anything like that. Oh, uh, and by doing that, we're also gonna gum up our small stone stuff, which is kind of an also a bummer, but I could throw a insert on green on this guy. That's, that's a possibility. Organization and cleanup. Always an adventure. Trying to expand your automation. And dealing with new mods, too, because I'm not super familiar with Calculator. So you extracted it, but you're not going to insert a new one. Bummer. All right, so let's get you, and then this will be the last one. Maybe what I'll do, let's, let's plan on automating this a little bit later. Um, I should really get a painting machine at some point so I can at least cover up wiring a little bit. Cool. Uh, so we'll deal with automating this later. But for now, you're just going to be on the up insert on green and you're good to go. And that'll start dumping stuff right up in there again. Cool. Uh, so meanwhile, I need four redstone and two diamond. We should have some of those. Two diamond. 
You're almost tidy. And that goes into a carpenter with water, which is here. Sweet. Now I can't shift click. Oh, I can. Look at that. How fancy. I love it. All right, I can kind of do it. So it should go that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. All right. Oh, I see. That's a different circuit. I wish these circuits had names. Back in a sec. So I think what it comes down to is it needs to be this shape and this color, and I don't think I can change them. I think I just have to wait for like RNG randomness to be lucky, which is a big time bummer. Um, you should clean up that into that. I, I guess there's no other way to get these dudes. Um, you are used in, your recipe is just processing I would have to get a damaged circuit. And the only way to get that, as far as I know, is to, you know, extract from cobble. Precision chamber does something. Ooh, what's that? Clay will get me that? Okay, so what's a precision chamber mean? Um, reinforced iron, fire diamond, and extraction chamber. A fire diamond is made in an atomic calculator. An atomic calculator triggers age eight. And to craft one of those, we need iridium reinforced plates. So we cannot do that at this point. Bummer. There's no other way to get the specific one? Do, 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 do. Damaged circuit. So I can get it from a precision chamber if I use clay. Looks like that'll like guarantee me the right kind of circuit if I get a precision chamber, but I need to get into age eight before I can do that. So I think at this point we just have to wait for lock, which is a bummer. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. So I'm cleaning out a basement-like area. Right there. Um, just to plan for how we're gonna do this. So what I'd like to be able to do is come in here to this room. Uh, give me all these levels for a sec, I wanna move you. I want to not have this anymore. <laughs> almost, almost. Did you see how close that was? Uh, I'd like to have like a chest here uh, whose job will be auto sorting, okay? So chest there, anything that goes into this chest probably will wind up being um, an ender chest, which I don't think are too bad. Yeah, pretty much the same recipe. I just need a client flask, which isn't terrible. Simple, simple, I can make that, easy. Um, and then what I'd like to do is have it sort. And what we'll have is probably, let's plan for, we're gonna want a decent amount of ore processing machines to start off. I'm thinking three. Um, and basically what I'll do is pipe coming out of that chest any ingots, or, or any ores, anything that needs to be smelted, like sag milled and then smelted. Uh, and we'll do it with Ender IO. It should be pretty straightforward to do that with our current tech level. And that should be cool, right? That should work out pretty well. So we'll pipe that into there, then they'll come up here, and then we'll run wiring over here that will eventually, let's kind of really represent what it'll look like. So we'll have item conduits going like this. Cool. And that'll be good. Um, I think I can get away with doing it in a good way without too many filters, which should be cool. And then um, what I'll do is also have an existing item filter on this chest, this chest, this chest, and this chest. So it'll auto sort items into here. And then this will be my miscellaneous junk chest. This will be the non-filtered 
last destination point for all things. And what I'll probably also wind up doing is upgrading some more of these to void chests. So things like, you know, dirt and gravel and pretty much anything that I typically void, which um, here's my list, by the way, cobblestone, gravel, andesite, diorite, granite, basalt, and dirt. That's what I void automatically when I'm mining underground. So um, I'll pretty much upgrade those things to void chests. Uh, so that's my rough plan for now. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is come back. Oh, good, I have a chest. I don't know where I got it from, but it's neat. You're gonna go here. So next episode, we'll come back. Uh, I'll get some item filters and I'll test out some things. I'm pretty sure sag mills won't accept anything they can't sag. Um, so what I could do is make them like a high priority destination and just blacklist a few things like cobblestone and gravel. Um, and then it should be the first point of destination for anything that can sag mill. Um, and then it'll smelt and it'll go up. And we'll kind of test that and see how it works out. In worst case, I have to get a filter, I will. Um, I'll probably need the, the smart filter, so it'll require some Z-Logic controllers, but that shouldn't be a big deal. Anyway, it's wrapping up point, though. So for now, Daryl20 is setting off. Made good progress today. Really kind of bummed that I couldn't get a drawer controller, so I'm just going to have to cross my fingers that at some point I get the right circuit type. Um, because, wow, uh, I've got a lot of circuits, and I'm missing exactly the one I need, which kind of really is a little bit of a bummer. But hopefully we can figure that out. Anyway, for now, Daryl20 is setting off. Take it easy.